I know what it means to be rich. I mean, look at my channel. I'm getting out of debt. I'm pretty sure I have a negative net worth. I'm doing this collab with some wine. It's gonna be kind of intense. Kristen over at Budgets and Beauties put this together, so I guess I'm gonna have to try. Here goes nothing. Hey y'all, I'm Wendy Valencia, and if you're new to my channel, I'd say go ahead and click the subscribe button, but since YouTube seems to be unsubscribing people randomly from channels, my suggestion is go to that bell next to the subscribe button and click that, and then you'll get an email every time I upload. That way you won't miss a thing. Before I get into this video, go ahead and make sure you're going to check out Kristen's channel too. I really like it. I'm, I'm new to her channel, but it is super high quality, like way better than mine, but shh, don't tell. I'll put a clickable link to her channel in the last 20 seconds of this video, so make sure you check her out after you watch this. And as always, I'll make a playlist of all the participants so you can just click play and binge watch them all. It's way easy. Before you get started, push pause and um, go down into the comments section below and tell me what you think it means to be rich. And I want you to do it before you watch this video or anyone else's video, hopefully, because I don't want your opinion skewed based on what I say or what anybody else says. I really would love to hear what you personally think it means to be rich. And I realize that some of you will say, you know, health, happiness, you know, family, whatever. That's not the kind of rich I'm talking about. The kind of rich I'm talking about is the kind of rich that involves moolah in the bank or in savings or in investments or real estate or whatever. What? Like this is legitimate rich. How would you personally know that you were rich? I so wish I could put I want to be a millionaire as the audio track in the background of this video, but since that would probably cause me some copyright problems, not going to do that. So I'm not going to put music in this video. I just want you to hum that in the background while you're watching. Before I get into how I would know if I was rich, let me tell you how I know I'm not. Number one, I'm living with my mommy and daddy with my husband and my daughter. Number two, I ditched the expensive hairdresser and now go to my husband Mauricio every four weeks to color my hair. Number three, my daughter Melina is not in piano lessons, soccer lessons, swimming lessons, Spanish lessons, ballet lessons, because we don't have any extra money to be spending on those things for a five-year-old. I haven't bought new clothes in pretty much forever. Um, all of my new clothes have been given to me as gifts. <laughs> Number five, the days of walking into Sephora with an unlimited budget are gone. Number six, Mauricio works six days a week, 12 hours a day. Not because he wants to, because he has to. Number seven, neither Mauricio nor I wear anything that is dry clean only anymore. Not because we don't have those clothes, but because we can't afford the dry cleaning bill. We can't really even afford the kits to dry clean in your own dryer. So how would I know if I were actually rich? I'll be honest with you, I've actually been accused of being rich on my channel by some trolls. Um, and while we have an excellent shovel, we are not rich by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe we will be one day, but not right now. And in truth, I think no matter how much money we actually have, I don't know that I will ever consider us rich. And that's probably because I don't work for money. I work because I love, love, love my job. The money's just kind of a bonus, actually. And and I don't even do YouTube for money. I, I earn some, but, you know, nothing notable. I do YouTube because it's fun. Having said that I will probably, no matter how much money I have in investments or in the bank or whatever, I will probably never consider myself rich. Some of the signs that I probably am rich because now that we're on these baby steps, we're never leaving them. Number one, we have zero debt and our house is completely paid for, which means we're in baby step seven. Yeah, just thinking about baby step seven makes me smile. Number two, I have a fully loaded, paid for Tesla. And not one of those cheap, cheaper versions of Teslas. 
I'm talking the real deal. Number three, I can buy real Uggs for my daughter. Not the fake knockoff kind and not used. I haven't bought you just Uggs, but I'm not above it. Number four, I'm totally stealing this from my mother because this is a lecture she gave me when I was spending willy-nilly in Nicaragua. I had discovered a crocodile lady who made custom-made crocodile bags and I had a lot of them. And my mother said, you should never have more purses than you can put a hundred dollar bill in each one of them. So if you have 50 purses, you need to have 50 $100 bills that you can leave in each one. So when I'm rich, I'm going to have a hundred dollar bill stuck secretly somewhere inside each one of my purses for emergencies. And it's not going to be the same hundred dollar bill moving from bag to bag. Yes, I realize that is silly, but... It's something my mom said that's kind of always stuck with me. See, mom, I do listen to what you say. Number five, we own a finca in Colombia and maybe some beachfront property somewhere. Don't really care where, as long as it's a beach that we can, you know, go to whenever we want. Because the beach is awesome. Number six. Okay, this is so silly, but um, this will be the sign that I've made it. I, I legit, this will be the sign that I've made it. I will have a Toto toilet. I went to a doctor in Mexico and she had this like built in bidet toilet with an air dryer and everything. And they're like a couple thousand dollars and who would ever pay for a couple thousand dollar toilet? This girl when she's wealthy. <laughs> yeah, no, I, it was it was an experience like no other. Number seven, I am gonna have an industrial sized Sonic ice maker in my house. They cost several thousand dollars, but they make the best ice in the history of the world. So if you're on board with the industrial sized Sonic ice maker in your house, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.